Alright, everybody, welcome back to some Holy Jiminy Christmas. Look at all this shit I have. Holy shit. Obviously, the first thing we're gonna do. Oh yeah, when I go back I'll need to do that, but this one, yeah, here we go. Go to the Strenuous System in the Horsehead Nebula Cluster and search for signs. Strenuous System, Horsehead Nebula, Strenuous System, Horsehead Nebula. Good timing, Commander. Oh. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Patch it through. I'll take it in the comm room. Yeah, damn it. Excuse me, guys. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Sarah. I'm scared. Tell me. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. Mm -hmm. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. And? What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communication. How's that my bad? How's that? But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The I mean, signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Time for. Appreciate it. Douchebags. <laughs> they do annoy me, though, sometimes. Especially the fucking. Oh, he only would only help him, but it was really good. Shut the hell up. Horsehead and Hebula, strenuous system. Strenuous, strenuous. Horsehead and Hebula. There it is. Strenuous. Alright, let's head out. Let's go help find his brother. I'm assuming he was attacked. It would be cool if we like went there and like fix his his fix his uh, ship and shit, but I doubt that. And then we'll head back to Citadel, talk to Amy Emily, or plant that bug for Emily Wong. Commander, Wall. urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. General Shepard. Situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. It's gone rogue? How many casualties so far? Seventeen Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what had happened. That's when we contacted you. Shit. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have... History to is written by the victor's headass. History is written by the victor. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. 
And right now, we need you. Consider it done. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. How far? Unknown. Hmm. Aha! The ship is a derelict. All compartments are exposed to space and the fusion plant is leaking? The damage is consistent with ship mountain mass accelerator fire. Oh shit. A faint trail of radioactive particles, probably exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads to the nearby planet of Ex Exwan. Thin atmosphere, frozen. Uh, planets have hazardous with constant ice storms. Negative 131 Celsius. God damn. So we're obviously going to bring Ashley and we'll bring Lara in case there's anybody hurt. Can't even see. Goddamn snow system. Cool snow. Something over here. The fuck? I don't trust you with an automatic. You're gonna, you're, you're pistol only right now. Easy. Fragment appears to be an old model freighter. Part of it's marked with a chatty outpost insignia. So it ain't nothing. Come on, guys, let's get back in the fucking. It's cold as shit out here. Let's get back in the fucking truck. Mercenary?
it, let it up. Oh shit! You've discovered the corpse. His uh, stiff fingers wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Shit. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right. Okay, let's see. Return. Sarah must be stopped. <laughs> All right, let's head up. Also, uh, how about Emily Wong? Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Okay. I have to go. <laughs> okay, Joker. <laughs> Shucking your own ego over there. I've been taking Caden out, but Zam in the squad. Perfect. Equalizing yes. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Okay, Jaleen. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorban, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorban will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. <coughs> Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. 
Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, here's traffic control right here, baby. Sweet. Now we gotta go back to Citadel Tower for them both. <laughs> Give me that motherfucking heavy. <sighs> oh, I can equip it. <sighs> Why is it pink? Well. <laughs> I can't. I can't wear pink armor, I'm sorry. I can't wear pink armor. It's just, I can't. <laughs> can I equip it to Ashley? Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and equip it to Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Hold on. Wait, there was something down there? What did I miss? Well... Huh. Unless it's right up here. Ooh, it might be right up here. Mm, doesn't look like... Yeah, it's down below. We'll go back down and look around. Um, this is a Citadel Tower, so we're gonna keep going this way. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. I'm sorry. Whoa! My game just turned... That was weird. My game just turned off. There's Emily. I'm already getting readings! This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. <laughs> Man, your publisher... Five grand! What are those cherry trees? Cherry blossoms, yeah. No, oh, there he is. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. Tell him, Ashley. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. 
The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? <laughs> I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? No more, bitch. I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole, or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. He won't get away. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Damn right. I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. Yes, I suppose. So I'm going to take a quick look around CSEC. I can't really find anything other than obviously, you know, sh uh, the dude we're about to go uh, arrest. Um, we'll dip out and head to that other planet that they were interested in. Oh, no, that's towards. Sorry. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Tell him, Ashley. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? Me. You should have thought of that before you stole the data. Damn right, Ashley. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. And do it legally. If it's that important, then take it back to the people it belongs to. I suppose I should. All right, I'll take it back and continue work on it there. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Good. Have a nice day, Jaleed. Um, Commander? Would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? Oh, God. What do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a Keeper, scan it. Whenever you get a unique scan, I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck, and so long. Gee, if he's doing it legally. All right, reality. I'm gonna go to that other planet that the Gek are interested in. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Uh? When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Mm -hmm. Je suis right, let's get back on the ship.
You know, I never did find out where that, where Laura stays. You know what I mean? I saw everyone but them. Hmm. Let me see if I can find her. Because I want to see if she f has figured anything else out. We can talk to Caden real quick, see if anything's up with him. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharaohs. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? There's only so many places we can go, so... See, there's Garrus, Rex. Ah, she's over here. Let's go talk to her. Here she, uh. Wait. Wait. I guess we can't talk to her then. Tally. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Huh. I should go. See you later. That is so weird. I guess I can't talk to her. Oh, you know why? Because she's probably still, um, still in the med bay. Shepard, what can I do for you? So long, Rex. I'll bring Rex on the next. I'll bring Rex on the next mission, which is what we're doing right now. <sighs> All right. There probably is a way to get to the med bay after stupid. There really isn't though. You got that door. That door goes to the comms room. That goes to the same place. You know what I mean? So really, it's nowhere for me to go. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, it was Noviera, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Noviera.
No we have a small frozen terrestrial world, barely inhibitable. It's privately charted by who leased out labs, too dangerous controversial performed, given you know it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Huh. <laughs> Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a bird. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. They don't sound too happy about that. We advise we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Yeah, <laughs> right, Joker? <laughs> to you, right, you mate. 